Hello everyone and welcome back to Comcrafty. Uh, I want to welcome you to this year's um, seven jolly days of Christmas. It's um, a series with uh, Christmas inspiration, especially for you. And uh, there will be seven projects uh, that will be uh, presented to you every second day, starting with Sunday 14th of November and ending uh, on Saturday, I think, 26th of November. Um, at the end of this series, there will be, of course, a giveaway. And uh, I know there are photos showing the prizes, but I want to uh, tell you in detail what they are. Um, so, there will be three sets, in other words, three winners, three lucky winners, and each uh, set will contain 12 sheets of pattern papers of 20 by 20 centimeters, and these are the same between the three sets. Uh, then there will be two sheets of pattern paper of 15 by 15 centimeters with elegant designs and glitter as well. These are different between the sets. There will be two decorative scissors, also different, and one sheet of epoxy stickers, also different. Except all these products, there will be a set of three cards for each of the three winners. Uh, the cards are different, all are unique, and they are handmade by me. And I really, really hope you like them. You can, of course, uh, keep one for yourself if you like one very much, and you can, uh, or you can send them all to your dear and loved ones. Um, and now about the conditions for the giveaway. It's not um, all you have to do, it's of course to subscribe to my channel and make sure you are a visible subscriber so that I, I can identify you for the prize. For the, there will be a random uh, draw at the end. Uh, you have to be 18 years old or more. You have to live in Romania. You have to comment to as many of the, these seven videos and share the videos on Facebook or Instagram or both with hashtag ComCrafty. You will find the conditions in the description box down below. Um, and that is all. <laughs> that is all you have to do. Uh, I wish you to have a lot of fun and I wish you good luck. And uh, can't wait to show you what I have created this year. So welcome to the fourth day from the series Seven Jolly Days of Christmas 2021. This is uh, what I have for you on the fourth day and I know it's not a Christmas related project, I mean not a Christmas themed project, I should say rather. It's an autumn nature um, themed project album and um, I hope you like it nevertheless. <laughs> Um, I loved working on it. I love this collection. It's um, Woodland from Minte Paper. And um, this was a custom album. Uh, I don't have it with me anymore as I'm narrating this. But this is how I um, decorated the front. Uh, that reindeer is um, laminated, as you see. On the edge, on the spine, I put Woodland. And on the back, I put another laminated uh, tag. Um, it measures, by the way, 23 centimeters by 17 and a half, I think, 18 actually, and has a spine of uh, 3 centimeters and a half by 4. On the inside front cover, I have made a side pocket uh, in which I have put some of the um, tags from the big collection. One or two of them are laminated, the third one it's not. On the back of them, uh, they have frames in which you can write or put more photos. On the first page, um, I have... Uh, it's, a, it's a collection of elements, basically, but uh, I thought it looked so nice. So, on the right side, what I'm showing you now, it's a very small and cute and lovely waterfall made of the tags from the small collection. Uh, there in the middle you have um, um, sentiment and down you have a uh, ephemera that I cut from the ephemera sheet and it's laminated or not, I don't remember anymore to be honest and it's a tax spot as well 
and up in the left you have um, the Fox which is part of the ephemera pack. In total there are five pages, uh, no six, sorry, six, and um, it's um, based on a project that I have made before and um, uh, the friend, um, the one who ordered it, uh, she wanted to follow that same um, type of uh, project, album. So this is how the second page looks like, it's uh, one of those, I don't know, it's still a pop-up element, but I don't know how these ones are called exactly, because it's not really classic pop-up, you know. Uh, but this is how it looks like, and it reminds me very much of the fairy tale books that we grew up with, as in this generation that I'm talking <laughs> right now about. This is the second page, uh, it's another type of pop-up, it's a page in a page basically as you can see um, and uh, I have used the fox again from the ephemera pack which I have put it offset so it, it's still in the middle of that clearing with a moon in the back as you can see or it's a lantern I think actually rather and the tail I wanted it to be out so it sticks out in the actually actual forest and then you have some uh, other elements like the snail and the owl and the um, hedgehog and some lantern up there in the right corner and then um, space for photos in the rest of the on the left page <clears throat> where I put the title as well, the title of the collection. Here on the next page we have four uh, tags of the uh, tag sheet uh, from the big collection that I have put on four booklets. Uh, they measure eight by ten and a half centimeters and I have punched the corners so you are able to uh, exchange the photos at some point if you ever get bored of them. So, you know, if you have too many and you have don't you don't have enough space in this album, you can, you know, put now some now and when you get bored of them, you put more at some other point. And this is how you take them out and put them back in. You can use the uh, this uh, punched corners. Uh, on one side you use the on the front you use the farthest out and on the back you use the closest in so here you have space just in this small booklet you have space for 12 photos and in the four spaces in between them four more so that's 16 photos in total only on this page uh, as I know um, this album was actually ordered for a story and it became a storybook a fairy tale book and I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous and I'm very glad. Uh, next page, it's uh, next and this and next one are my favorite I would say in this uh, album uh, even though it's difficult to choose. So um, these uh, are fussy cutted from um, the big sheets of course and uh, I like very much the way I fussy cut the tree. I wanted it to have that window out in the open because if I would have kept the all the thing that it had above it, it would have gotten out of the page and uh, above it it was a much, you know, uh, foliage. So it wasn't actually the crown of the tree, but the foliage. And it was spread all uh, over the page. So if I kept that, it would have gotten out. But even so, uh, actually what I wanted to show was the tree. So this is what I did and the bottom part of the page is in front of it. And now next page is one of these um, um, also fussy cut elements uh, that uh, are supported by uh, one of the pages from the small collection. And I fussy cut four elements, um, three from the big collection, one from the small collection, it's one owl and one fox, I thought they look adorable, and then uh, one um, tree trunk and uh, a set of, uh, I don't know how you call it, it's not a set, it's a, I don't know, a cluster of uh, mushrooms, I don't know how you call them, <laughs> uh, some mushrooms, <laughs> um, but I thought they look so well together, and um, on the last page you have this um, Waterfall made from pages from the small collection, uh, from the small pad, it's uh, five of them. Um, 
And yes, this is a lovely one. And I always wondered the first time when I saw the collection, why is that door there? Well, I think it's actually the door, I think, separates the normal world from the fairy tale world. So in that photo, in that image, the reindeer is on in the normal world and it's inviting us to open the door to the fairy tale world. And now I think on the second one, we are already in the fairy tale world. world. And then some more <laughs> of it. Uh, absolutely lovely images. And um, yes, uh, I'm not sure if I uh, said that in the beginning. So it may, this may be a um, autumn album, a nature album, but um, it doesn't have to be mandatory a Christmas theme album to figure in a um, Christmas uh, collection, you know, because it can be the perfect Christmas gift for anyone that loves autumn and nature. So, I hope you like very much um, the album and what I showed you so far. And by the way, if you go down in the description box down below, you will see there is a link to all the projects that I have uh, showed uh, until now. And if you like what you find on my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button to like and share. And I hope you will take part in the uh, giveaway for this uh, Christmas uh, collection. And until after tomorrow, when I will come back with the next project, I wish you all the best. Take care. Bye-bye.